Hey folks, today I want to have a look at this Kodak Pix Pro SL10. It's a uh, smart lens camera. It was given to me several years back and it's been sitting in my drawer. I think I used it once, maybe twice to take a few photos, but never any video. I'm not really a photo taker. I like to do videos. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go through this camera and see if it's actually functional enough for me to do videos with. <clears throat> now it claims, <clears throat> excuse me, 16 megapixel uh, camera, uh, 10 time optical zoom, which I like an optical zoom versus a digital zoom, uh, full HD 1080p high speed movie, which tells me it's going to require a high speed uh, SD card and uh, Wi-Fi connection, which is actually what it takes to connect to your device, whether it be a tablet or a smartphone. We're going to be connecting it to a tablet, maybe a smartphone. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I want to get into this thing and uh, start pulling it out. I actually want to see if it's functional enough to do a video with. My phone <clears throat> is what I use to do my videos with on a Beast Grip tripod system. Very, very cool. Very solid tripod, kind of hydraulic, expensive. So I get great results as far as image quality goes. But what I've noticed on my smartphone, which is an LG G6, yeah, I shoot in 4K and down sample to 1080 when I'm in my editor. The focus is a little slow and I'm not getting there right here. You see, uh, I guess it's not bad, but we're going to actually compare my LG G6 video quality and functionality to this Kodak Pix Pro SL10. So let's get this thing. Well, you know what? Let's not cut. Let's just take it all out of the box the way it is. Okay, so the first thing we get is a user manual in multiple languages. Right there. Take the time to read it. I'll do another brush up real quick. But that'll be off camera. Get a warranty card, which is probably useless now. Uh, quick start guide. Probably telling you how to put your video card in and to charge your battery and don't be a dimwit. Um, stop, it says. Many questions regarding your project uh, product can be answered by visiting our website at CodecPixPro.com. And here we have the smart lens itself. As you see it's got a very nice design, very solid. By the way, no SD card comes with this, so you'll have to supply your own. But it does have onboard memory to shoot up to 200 pictures at full megapixel, which is 16 megapixel. Again, I've never tested that theory because I've only taken a couple of pictures with it. So, let's see what else we have down here. I believe a, oh, we have charging cable, charging cable, charge port. Uh, let's see here. This is a little gooey. Pix Pro, AC adapter, and we have, but I also read that this camera will not charge if you're using it, so it has to be powered off for the camera to charge, so unlike a tablet or a mobile device, which charges whether you're using it or not, this one will not, so if it's turned on, you're just using the camera and using the battery up, you have to turn it off to charge it. You get a little wrist strap here, which is quite clever because you don't want to drop it. Let's see how this goes on. Right here, I think. Yeah, here. Get this tightened up here. I believe it uh, goes down in like so, I think. Come on. Come on. Can I get that now? No. 
Wow, is that a pain in the ass? There we are. So, bring this guy. Get this in the frame here. Through like so. And tighten it up like that. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, it's going to take a little while to charge this. I want to fully charge it. And then uh, we'll be back. We got a full charge in here. And I've also went ahead and put a high-speed video card in here. I mean video card. SD card. Which is a... Uh, SanDisk is extreme right here, 32 gig. So I think you pick those up for about 30 bucks, maybe less. I'm not sure. So I want to make sure I give this little camera every opportunity to do its best work. So I don't want to put a subpar um, mini disc card in there. So. Now, in order to do videos, we have to download the application from Kodak. So we're going to do that right now. This was kind of a pain in the ass, I must tell you, right now. If you have this software, Kodak PixPro Remote Viewer, installed on multiple devices in the same house, you're not connecting to any device. So I literally had to uninstall it from my phone my wife's phone and only leave it on the tablet as I'm going to show you right now as you can see it's connected to the tablet so before we start shooting any sample video because you know again this tablet has limitations as far as video playback we actually have to go into the settings here and uh, it says movie size, so we're not even getting that as a function right now. Let's see here. It says we can record like that. But let's go and stop this here. And now it says it recorded at 4.3, which is not what we want. We want to record in 16, full HD 16.9 at 30 frames per, okay? So that's what it says we're set at. So let's go have a look. It says we're set there now at 16.9. And uh, let's try our zoom here real quick. I'm zooming manually. Move this around. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a few tests using this as a recorder and look at some uh, action figure parts. Okay. Be right back. All right. Basically, this is just to check our video quality. Uh, this is I'm shooting right now with a little Kodak Pix Pro. Again, I don't know how good this is going to be. That's what this test is all about. Let's see this part right here. And I should uh, take a moment to tell you. There are two little clips on the back of this camera that spread open to allow you to uh, hook your phone on the back so it actually becomes a one self-contained camera. This little clip, one of these little clips here, broke. I mean, we're talking about a piece that was opened once, twice to take a photo and put back in the box. And I went to put this on my phone, and it snapped. This is real garbage. Real crap. So anyway, let's not cry over spilled milk, or in this case, broken clips. So basically, I'm just moving this around. The same thing I would be doing if I was doing a figure review. 
That's all we're doing. We're just going to check the video quality. So yeah, in the next clip you see, I'll be back on my regular video device, which is my uh, smartphone. Just moving around quickly. Up. So yeah, the idea is to see if this is actually usable at all <clears throat> before I decide to just pitch it, give it to somebody or whatever. So, see you in a couple minutes. So yeah, you know, um, I don't know. I haven't seen the actual video footage yet uh, as yeah, I just paused it and got back on my regular device. Uh, I got it set on a little tripod. There's a little tripod uh mount here built right into the camera as you can see right there and I'm going to show you where this clip broke right there this little clip right here broke see it's supposed to flip up and they're supposed to spread apart as you can see like so to clip your phone in here and uh, this one broke what a piece of crap anyway that's really disturbing so just to let you know maybe i already show you show you how the card went in anyway yeah i'm not too enamored with this there's just too many moving parts you just grab your phone you turn it on and you start filming this is like yeah you know it's like making breakfast you know there's a lot of moving parts hash browns bacons yeah ooh, yeah so anyway for what it's worth thanks for watching